2016 segment where we expose the stories behind the headlines. For that, we turn to Raymond Arroyo, EWTN Managing Editor, author of The Spider Who Saved Christmas. Ray, Joe Biden rushing ahead uh, of the courts and ruling out individuals he hopes are going to populate his administration. Uh, these have become daily events now. Yeah, very choreographed daily events, Laura. That is until Joe Biden takes the microphone. Here he is today naming retired Army General Lloyd Austin as defense secretary. He was a statesman representing our country with a skill at, uh, at, at, uh, you know, at tables that I've sat with him with foreign leaders. And I wondered whether or not he was from the State Department or from the Defense Department. Biden seems to be wondering where he's sending Austin right now. But at least he'll be at the, uh, you know, the tables, Laura. Yesterday was a similar scene. For Secretary of Health and Education Service, I nominated Javier Bacaria. You know, Javier Bashir, excuse me. <laughs> what, Laura? The Biden team, they're, they're biting their nails to the nubs every time the man takes the microphone. I mean, you've got to know the name of the guy you're appointing. Did he say health, education, and welfare? What the heck did he say? <laughs> yeah. HH. It's a new that was agency, back in the I 70s, think, wasn't it? That was the 70s. <laughs> yeah. He's having one of those moments know. where you go back decades. Well, throughout the campaign every day, uh, Biden promises to bring healing, Raymond, to the country. Mm. This is our moment. Ours together to write a newer, bolder, more compassionate chapter in the life of the nation. Sounds trite to say it, but we're all in this together. You want Democrats and Republicans and independents to come together and work together. Oh, I wonder how those calls for unity and togetherness, Laura, square with Michigan State Representative Cynthia Johnson's message to Trump supporters on Facebook. Watch. So this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. We ain't playing with you. Enough is enough. And for those of you who are soldiers, you know how to do it. Do it right. Be in order. Make them pay. Should, should be Can a lot of fun at a party. Yeah, she, she's, a, she's a fun time. Can you imagine an elected official, Laura, urging harm on her political opponents, calling on supporters to make Trumpers pay? Curiously, this got very little coverage. The Michigan House Speaker and Speaker-elect did issue a statement today. They said threats to Democrats or Republicans are unacceptable and un-American. They're even more unbecoming of an elected official. And Johnson has been stripped of her committees. Mm, yeah, and deal. they're apparently looking for further disciplinary actions as the uh, proper authorities authorities uh, conduct an investigation. Now, this is the least they could do, Laura. But where are the other Democrat leaders calling this woman out? Where's the media coverage? Basically, it was non-existent. Maybe she and Maxine Waters should get together and take this act on the road and do a revenge <laughs> and intimidation <laughs> tour, unplugged, where they just well, issue threats and tell people to get in other people's faces. And But it, it wasn't it like she was trying out for a, like a bad made-for-TV movie. We, it was like we were watching she, like a, like her audition tape or something. It was so lame. Well, Laura, she she wraps up in December. That's the end of her term. I'm thinking maybe maybe Biden could appoint her as Secretary of Cross Isle Relations. It could be a whole new career for uh, Congresswoman Johnson. We'll see. Yeah. I'm sure there's a place She'll for her. She'll be good her. at the table, I'm sure, throwing the tables. <laughs> I'm sure there's a place for her in the Biden administration with all of this togetherness, love and harmony, peace yes. and, you know, peace out, Raymond. This is unbelievable. <laughs> of course. Bye. All right, Raymond, thanks so much.